Times are changing and they are changing for the better as far as India is concerned. For the longest time, India was dependent on importing drones for fighting their wars. But now they have one all Indian Ayurvedi Jadi Bhutiyo Se Bana Sampurna Swadeshi product called Zulu. I'm going to talk about this. What is it? Why is it so important? Why is it so different from the other drones? and so on and so forth. A small slide deck to share with you and as always a request to all of you to please like this video and if you have not subscribed to our channel, do subscribe to our channel. Here we go. Who was Parashurama who led a life of devotion, dedication and daring? Why did he take birth on the earth? Was it to eradicate corrupt Kshatriya rulers who had become tyrannical and oppressive or was it to bestow daya for the needy? Drone wars go desi. Zulu, how India is weaponizing its skies. Zulu Defense System, a Bengaluru based startup, has come up with a portable loitering munitions suicide drones, micro reconnaissance UAVs, and modular combat unmanned aerial systems. UAS platforms. Now, what is a loitering munition? Well, what a loitering munition is, supposing that you are going to try and take out somebody's uh, tank, let's say, Pakistani tank situated in Pakistan, and you want to send a drone to that. When you launch the drone, the Pakistani tank is at location X, Y. But then Pakistan knows that this could be attacked, so it might be moving it from X, Y to something further. So what happens is the drone is fully capable of adjusting its target position so that it knows, oh, okay, so this guy has moved a little bit further, I'll go and hit him there. That's called as a loitering munition. And this is the best of my understanding. If uh, there is more to it, please let me know by way of comments. This means that India now will be able to not have to import drones as much as they used to and they can use these dual use combat systems built under Atmanirbhar Bharat. As of late 2025, the project has reached a key milestone by transitioning from the prototype stage to mass production. The lead product, Hover B, a palm size micro, palm size is about this. Micro loitering munition has now been inducted by the Indian Navy's Marcos Commandos. Hover B is a compact, palm-launched, vertical takeoff and landing VTOL micro drone for reconnaissance, surveillance and precision strike missions. That's why it's dual uh, use. Designed to provide personal air support to small infantry and special operations teams. Capable of operating in urban, forested or high altitude areas where traditional intelligence, surveillance and reconnaissance systems are ineffective. That is something that's amazing. Here are the parameters and specifications. The size is 15 centimeter micro airframe. The weight is around 260 grams, about quarter kilogram. Launch method, hand launched VTOL capable. Control range up to two kilometers. Power system is electric. And payload options are camera slash IR slash 400 gram grenade warhead. Operational time between 20 to 30 minutes. Deployment, backpack stored. It can be done by a single soldier. Navigation, AI based obstacle avoidance and autonomous hover. There's a lot of state of the art technology has gone into this Zulu. The VTOL system enables deployment from tight spaces, including rooftops, naval decks and confined alleys. The electric propulsion system ensures stealth by producing low noise and minimal heat visibility. The system is backpack portable and can be deployed in under 30 seconds. That means probably switching uh, or flipping a couple of switches. The design is meant for field operations in extreme weather, including fog, rain and high altitude conditions. Design and deployment features, the system is compatible with Army and Navy C4, Command, Control, Communications, Computers, Intelligence, Surveillance and Reconnaissance Systems for Seamless Command Integration. It's called C4ISR. There is 
you know it can do two things it can be either just be a recon or it can also deliver a weapon so it has two modes reconnaissance and loitering munitions and it can quickly be able to um, switch between those two modes in the strike variant the camera unit is replaced with a 400 gram grenade warhead turning it into a micro kamikaze drone the system is ideal for indoor counter terror operations such as entering buildings to neutralize hostiles for border surveillance and precision strikes in close quarter ambushes without exposing soldiers to direct fire military induction in december 2025 indian navy's marine commandos marcos officially inducted the hoverbee after extensive trials trials were also conducted with army infantry battalions for real time isr and precision engagement tests the results demonstrated high mission reliability rapid deployment capability and adaptability to both amphibious and urban warfare environments it marks india's first operational induction of a micro loitering munition tactical advantages for marcos for littoral and shipborne operations it enhances recon during boarding actions and anti piracy missions in urban warfare scenarios it can enter rooms or structures undetected for surveillance or target neutralization remember viewers it's not a very big drone in a hostage rescue or counter terror operations scenario it enables surgical engagement of targets while minimizing collateral damage in network centric operations it integrates seamlessly with marcos advanced battlefield management systems there are lots of tactical advantages for marcos using this as a force multiplier it provides each small team with its own air overwatch and strike capability technology stack autonomous flight algorithms enable stable hovering and reliable return to operator functionality an encrypted data link prevents interception and jamming ai assisted targeting supports object recognition and dynamic flight path adjustments the system features a sensor suite with thermal and night vision cameras for low light operations along with a smart battery module using quick swap lithium polymer cells to extend mission duration see if you if you need to see at night you need to use what is called as infrared capable cameras it's called flir if i remember correctly and and these are fairly critical otherwise you will not be able to see in the dark so some of these things are really state of the art technology i must say from prototype to production in the earlier phases the system underwent research development and testing with army and naval special units between 2023 and 2025 now mass production batches are underway indoor assembly lines showcasing multiple next gen hoverbees in sequence indigenous sourcing of electronics motors and sensor packages to ensure data security and cost efficiency major summer tour zulu's chief growth officer and former infantry officer leads the company's soldier first design approach focused on portability reliability and mission flexibility they have many other products you can pause this and take a look at what it is saying and this gives you the width and breadth of uh, number of products that zulu has done basically you can see how they compare very favorably with the us switchblade 300 weight they are lighter payload little bit less uh, range little bit less cost little bit less i mean less than 2 lakhs which is uh, divided by 9 1000 dollars is 90000 rupees so that means 2000 dollars whereas the us switchblade 300 is 70000 dollars plus very very cost effective deployment is you know for the us switchblade you need to have a launcher tube here it's a hand thrown vtol and origin made manufacturer aero environment in usa and this one is zulu defense systems india zulu has a very bright future in my opinion and these kinds of things will really really take it to the next level this embodies india's new war fighting philosophy mobility over mass intelligence over intimidation from the palm of a soldier's hand it delivers eyes ears and firepower redefining the modern indian battlefield 
Forget imported switchblades, India now has its own silent predator in the sky. So very impressive product and uh, we will be seeing this probably in action very soon. How things are going in uh, Bangladesh and Pakistan, I can tell you that something is imminent. So let's wait and see how this plays out. Thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to click on the bell button for notifications. Namaskar.